Hello YouTubers, today we are going to do a quick review on the Ring Spotlight Battery Security Camera. Uh, so what you see on your screen is the security camera battery version. Um, I have two of the white ones. Um, and so let's talk about it, let's get into it. The battery version is nice because you can put this essentially anywhere. Um, if, you're, if you're looking at the, the picture on the screen, these are the lights on the both sides which will um, turn on and off automatically based on your configuration and settings. Obviously this is the camera. Um, and then below this I believe is the um, motion detecting sensor. You can actually, there's a button back here that you can pop open this section and enter batteries. It comes with one battery. What I would suggest right away is I would suggest either purchasing a second battery and a third battery or purchasing the solar panel. Uh, there is a solar panel that comes, that you can purchase as an add-on feature with this camera. If you plan on using the medium or high settings with this camera, you will need the second battery or the solar panel or both. Uh, what I did was I just went with the the, cam the battery that came with it and I found myself within a week climbing up on the ladder and pulling the battery out and charging it. I think overall it's a very nice camera, um, very useful camera. It's just uh, one of the drawbacks that I found was at the medium or high setting you need to definitely have a, a backup plan. The batteries charge very fast, which is a good thing. The solar panel works amazing. I would say in a half a day it charges both of my, both of the batteries that are installed uh, to 100%. And I think that's based on the direct lighting. Um, I think those are, are very good features or qualities. I think that one of the drawbacks, the only drawback that I could find was that the batteries kind of got drained fast at medium or high settings. So the reason why I purchased this camera is that a few years ago while I was up holding my son I noticed kids were walking around the neighborhood at 1, 2, 3 in the morning. Um, I wanted to see if they were messing with any of my property and so I installed these cameras. The cameras install pretty quick um, and then what you do is you actually push the, you, you push the back of the camera. Uh, there's a little piece that sticks out right here, you push that back into this base here that screws in um, and, and there you have it. So it, it works very well. Like I said, really the, the primary drawback that I found was the, the battery life. Um, I got the two probably installed within 20 minutes, uh, got them configured. You do all the configurations through the app um, and I'll actually show you, I'll show you a video of the live view. Uh, what is that to side? All right, so here is the web interface for the ring.com camera. There are actually a lot more features in the iOS app that I use than in this setting right here. I think that's probably another frustration of mine is that this is a very basic interface and they kind of push you to do everything on the app which is not a huge deal it's just if I'm sitting at a computer I'd like to be able to watch both of my cameras at the same time or be able to access both of them at the same time so this is a recording that was made um, as you can see this points at a, an intersection which gets a moderate amount of traffic um, one thing that you'll find, and you can actually play the sound, there's nothing happening so it won't sound like anything. Um, it, the web interface is very basic and probably really only used to download, to download pictures in the event something happens. Um, the other thing too that is a little frustrating but that's the this is the way everything is shifting towards especially with cloud environments is you do pay or have to pay a little bit of a additional charge monthly or yearly if you opt to have multiple devices for example I have two devices I have a side camera I have a front camera and then I have the ring doorbell and so I pay an additional charge per month in order to use the, some of the cloud features as I mentioned to you the user interface and the web 
is pretty pretty blank and pretty bland. What I'll do is I'll show you some of the options that you have if you are using your iPhone or Apple app. So if I just bring this up here, um, and what I'll do is I'll show you the live feed for the, the camera, the side camera. One of the nice things about the camera, see if I just click, I don't know if you can see that if I just click live here, one of the nice things about this camera is you can actually zoom in. Uh, so you can zoom in and then kind of move it around here. Uh, what you are not able to do is remotely move the camera angle. So that's kind of a frustration. Hopefully you can see that. That's kind of a frustration. You can talk with the red and, and hang up with, or you can talk with the green and hang up with the red. Uh, there are additional options that you can use by hitting that plus sign. You can listen live, as you can see there. Um, the web app is, the iPhone app is very nice. I wish there were, I wish the features were available in the web interface. I would say overall this is a very good camera, it's a very useful camera. You can see here, um, if I move that around, you can see some of the different features that are available. Um, it is motion controlled, so that's how I'm able to see the different cars driving by or whatever is going on. Um, so overall, I do like the camera. I think the camera is, is very useful. It serves purpose. Um, I compared this camera to the Arlo Pro. And one of the reasons why I went with this camera is I believe it's a cheaper camera. Uh, you can extend or have a longer battery life uh, i think also not having to install additional things inside of your home was a benefit as well with arlo pro i believe you needed to have a base station and that base station communicated out with the different cameras so overall like i said i think this is a very useful camera i do want to let you know that this is um i am a, I, I am affiliated, a marketing affiliate with Amazon, so the link that you'll see below will take you to the Amazon site, um, and I do get a little bit of compensation if you decide to purchase from that link. So if you have any questions or comments, please post in the comments, comment box below. Uh, if not, thanks for watching, and we will see you soon.